welcome. Uh, that might that might have been super loud. I'm sorry about that. I'm really sorry. I, I just wanted to say welcome to Monday Night Raw, even though it's Tuesday. Uh, I'm really sorry. Anyway, the show was great. Uh, I hey, uh, I have no complaints about the show. Was it picture perfect? No. It was never perfect, perfect, but it was great. It was awesome. I really enjoyed it. The night started with Seth Rollins opening the show and basically at Crown Jewel, we're gonna get Drew McIntyre versus Seth Rollins. The really bummer part about all of this is that we're not gonna get Shinsuke versus Rollins part three. Uh, and the other thing is that this match has Absolutely zero build-up, kind of, but I guess they're gonna use the time till we get to Crown Jewel and they're gonna use the feud that they had years back when Drew was the champ. I'm really excited to see what's gonna happen, but so far we don't have anything really. After that we had an interesting one. As last week I said we're gonna have Coffee Kingston versus Ivor, but it's gonna be Viking Rules match. The match was okay, Valhalla interfered, Woods in the interfered, but in the end, Ivor won, and where that leads the whole feud, I guess the New Day ver versus Viking Raiders, but Eric is injured, so I don't know where that whole thing is going. Maybe we're trying to build Ivor as a single star, who knows? After that, we had another interesting one, Nia Jax versus Raquel Rodriguez. I was really excited to see that one actually from end to end, but Rhea Ripley interfered, after that Shayna Baszler interfered, and uh, we will have a feud next week, Shayna versus Rhea, basically. NXT throwback, it's gonna be amazing, I can't wait because Shayna Baszler basically pummeled Rhea and but years back Rhea was the one to dethrone Shayna as the NXT champion so I'm really excited for next week what these two are gonna bring to the table but I'm pretty sure that Nia Jax or Rodriguez are gonna interfere which makes me a little bit sad but if i can see that match from end to end it's gonna be amazing i swear it's gonna be fantastic after that my little theory was not exactly correct we had ricochet versus bronson reed versus chad gable for the number one contender for the intercontinental championship right off the bat we understand that ricochet is not gonna be in that title picture because he's gonna feud with shinsuke and somehow shinsuke from world heavyweight championship contender he went to the mid card fighting for ricochet and there are two options either ricochet is climbing the ladder to the world heavyweight championship and basically he's gonna be either the next or after the next contender or shinsuke is going back to the mid card which is something that i really don't want to see and the other thing is basically chad gable versus bronson reed we all knew that chad is not gonna win that one because he's gonna go face Gunther at the end, final challenge, he's gonna take the title from Gunther. So basically, that leaves us with Bronson Reed. Yeah, Bronson Weed, I was about to say Bronson Weed, how funny is that? Bronson Reed won next week, Bronson Reed versus Gunther, and I'm really excited to see Gunther smashing Bronson Reed. I don't have anything against Bronson Reed, but he has some work to do before actually facing for the Intercontinental Championship, I'm sorry. After that, JD McDonough had a special task because he was flipping up over and over and over again. And his task was to face Drew McIntyre and smash him. I don't know why I'm using smashing that much today, but basically his task was to deal with Drew McIntyre. He couldn't, he, Drew beat him. It was a good match, it was a good showcase of JD McDonough's abilities. But after that, Rhea was like, don't worry Priest, because Damian Priest was like super pissed off and was like, I'm gonna, uh, I was about to say smash again, but I don't want to use the word smash anymore in this video. 
I'm gonna deal with JD McDonough after Drew McIntyre kicks him, but uh, Rhea Ripley was like, don't worry, I'm gonna deal with everything, trust me. And in one of the backstage segments, I saw that Rhea was talking to Drew, but I don't know why. Was that intentional for the viewer to see? I guess it was, but I don't know where that whole thing will lead to. I'm really excited to see the following weeks. Is JD McDonough gonna join the Judgment Day? To be fair, it's obvious that JD McDonough is gonna join the Judgment Day at some point. Just interesting to see the trial that he will go through, the challenges and all that stuff. So looking forward for the next few weeks to see what he's gonna go through. After that, a big one. One of the main events, if I can say that. Tegan Knox versus Becky Lynch. It was hell of a match. I liked it, I enjoyed it. I never knew anything about Tegan Knox except, yeah, I knew nothing about Tegan Knox. It was interesting twist that she said at the beginning that right when she signed her contract into WWE, she blew her ACL. A few months after she returned, she blew again her ACL. Basically now she's in the main roster proving herself and that was an interesting angle but the match itself was great, I really enjoyed it. Of course Becky Lynch retained, I think that she sustained now an injury as well of her arm but maybe this is a word, I don't know. Excited to see what's next for Becky and for Tegan now. The main event, the actual main event, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn versus Cody Rhodes and Jey Uso for the undisputed tag team championships. I really enjoyed the match. It was so nice. It is so nice. The finisher of Cody and Jay, the modified 1D. It's super cool. And it, in the end, Kevin Owens just accepted Jay. And it was so good moment, the hug. And I just started crying and smiling and laughing. It was such a feel good moment. But anyway, with that being said, I think I have said nothing bad about Raw. Can you imagine? I really enjoyed it. Three hours of enjoyment. Basically it was two hours and a half because I skipped the ads and all of that stuff, but I really enjoyed it. I hope that we continue strong. Tomorrow we have Tuesday Wars, NXT vs. Seida. It's not Wars really, but we're gonna have both shows the same day. And we have SmackDown with Roman Reigns returning. Really excited for this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.